Welcome back, friends. It's Permit Quiz Liz, and today we're going to cover part three of our series where the permit test meets the driving test. Anyone care for some tea? Or at least some tea intersection trivia? Here you go. Two vehicles are approaching an uncontrolled tea intersection. One vehicle is on the through road and the other is on the road that ends. Who has the right of way at the intersection? A, the vehicle on the through road, B, the vehicle on the right, or C, the vehicle that arrives first? The correct answer for this one is A, the vehicle on the through road. On your road test, you will have to navigate a T intersection and you better know the right of way rules if you want to keep up that perfect score. If you are on the part of the T intersection where the road ends, then you must yield to traffic on the through road. When you yield, you should slow down and be ready to stop if necessary. But if there is no traffic or pedestrians, then you don't need to stop and you can roll through your turn slowly and smoothly. Perfect. Also on your driving test, you will most likely have to negotiate a curved road. Knowing the answer to this question will help you pass both tests. You are approaching a sharp curve in the road. You should A, start braking as soon as you enter the curve, B, accelerate into the curve, or C, start braking before you enter the curve. The correct answer is C, start braking before you enter the curve. Reducing your speed before entering a curve decreases your chances of losing control of your vehicle and crashing. Always remember the basic speed pattern for handling any curve. Slow down before the curve, cover the brake and coast through the curve, and then accelerate out of the curve. Next question, and this one is a rules of the road doozy. You are crossing in an intersection and an emergency vehicle is approaching with a siren and flashing lights. You should A, stop immediately in the intersection until it passes, B, pull to the right in the intersection and stop, C, continue through the intersection, pull to the right and stop. The correct answer is C, continue through the intersection, pull to the right, and stop. Life's not always fair, and you may be one of the unlucky test takers that hears the sirens from an ambulance, fire truck, or police car during your driving exam. But never fear, if you know what to do and don't panic, it's actually a great opportunity for you to show your DMV examiner that you're a true pro. When you see or hear emergency sirens, safely change lanes to the right, if possible, and stop your vehicle except if you are in an intersection. If you are in an intersection, clear the intersection first and then pull to the right and stop. If you can remember that, you'll be a much more knowledgeable driver than most people on the road today. Speaking of road rules, here's one for speed control. You are driving on a road where the speed limit is 45 miles per hour. All the other vehicles are driving 50 miles per hour or faster. You may legally drive A, 50 miles per hour or faster, the speed of traffic, B, anywhere between 45 and 50 miles per hour, or C, no faster than 45 miles per hour. The correct answer is C, no faster than 45 miles per hour. Driving faster than the posted speed limit on any road is dangerous and illegal, and anything dangerous and illegal is definitely grounds for an auto fail. On your road test, assuming driving conditions are ideal, Keep your speed at or a few miles under the posted speed limit. With that in mind, don't go ridiculously slower than the speed limit. If you go 10 miles per hour under the speed limit and there's no good reason for it, you can also earn an auto fail for impeding the progress of normal traffic flow. Now you know. Your behind the wheel test will involve at least four right turns and your permit test will be filled with plenty of right turn questions too. Starting with these two questions. This is also a good lesson on how sometimes one question on your written test can be used to help answer another question. So please soak up a little test taking strategy here as well. First question, you are about to make a right turn. You must signal continuously during the last blank feet before the turn. A, 50, B, 75, C, 100. Correct answer is C, 100. And if you got that one correct, then this next one should be a no-brainer. You want to make a right turn at an upcoming intersection. You should slow down and A, move toward the left side of your lane, B, avoid driving in the bicycle lane, or C, signal for 100 feet before turning. 
The correct answer is C, signal for 100 feet before turning. So if you didn't know, now you really know. You must signal for at least 100 feet before making a right turn. In fact, before any turn, you must signal for at least 100 feet first. And make note of the wrong answer B, avoid driving in the bicycle lane. That'll help you answer this next right turn jaw dropper. When can you drive in a bike lane? A, during rush hour traffic if there are no bicyclists in the bike lane. B, when you are within 200 feet of a cross street where you plan to turn right. Or C, when you want to pass a driver ahead of you who is turning right. The correct answer? is B, when you are within 200 feet of a cross street where you plan to turn right. When making a right turn, drive close to the right edge of the road and turn from the lane closest to the curb. If a bike lane exists, safely change lanes into it and make your right turn from the bike lane. Try not to enter the bike lane until the lane line becomes broken and for no more than 200 feet before the turn. And as always, make sure you have your turn signal on for at least 100 feet before you take your turn, if not more. Many inexperienced drivers avoid the bike lane on their drive test right turns, but doing this will earn you an auto fail. If it's safe and clear, always merge into the bike lane before your right turns. Continuing the right turn train, this next one should be easy to solve given the previous question. To turn right from a highway with two lanes in your direction, turn from A, the lane closest to the center of the road, B, the lane nearest the curb or edge of the roadway, or C, either lane depending on oncoming traffic. The correct answer is B, the lane nearest the curb or edge of the roadway. One more time for good measure, to make a right turn, drive close to the right edge of the road and turn from the lane nearest the curb or edge of the roadway. If there is a bike lane, drive into the bike lane no more than 200 feet before the turn and always complete your turn in the rightmost lane. This next permit test question is a huge deal on the drive test and a cause for much debate. You may turn right on a solid red light, A, only after stopping and yielding to pedestrians and bicyclists unless otherwise posted, B, only after slowing down and checking traffic, or C, under no circumstances. The correct answer is A, only after stopping and yielding to pedestrians and bicyclists unless otherwise posted. While you can never turn right against a red arrow, you can indeed make a right turn on a solid red light if no sign prohibits it. While making a right on a solid red light can be perfectly legal, the question on your drive test becomes, should you do it? That's entirely up to you, but we recommend against it unless you are 100% confident in the traffic situation and really know your rules of the road. If you don't stop completely before the crosswalk before attempting your right on red turn, you just failed. Also, if you make an ill-timed right on red, you can set yourself up for another auto fail, either by blocking the crosswalk when a pedestrian comes along or by impeding the progress of another vehicle if you turn into their lane and they have to slow down because of you. If you're even a little unsure if it is safe to make a right on red, we recommend that you just wait for your right of way to happen when the light turns green. We would be remiss not to include a tough left turn question. And this last question is a great one to know for your permit test and your drive test. You want to turn left ahead. In the middle of the road, there is a lane marked as shown. You must A, merge completely into this lane before you make your left turn, B, turn from your current traffic lane after signaling, or C, not enter this lane for any reason. The correct answer is A, merge completely into this lane before you make your left turn. A center turn lane or center left turn lane is in the middle of a two-way street and is marked on both sides by two painted yellow lines, solid outer lines and broken inner lines. Both directions of traffic can use the center turn lane to begin a left turn or to finish a left turn. On your DMV test, you will be asked to make several left turns, and there's a good chance one of them will involve a center turn lane. If so, you must use it correctly to make your left turn. First, you'll merge into the turn lane safely like you would for any other lane change by doing a full smog, and once you're in the center turn lane, you'll make your left turn when there is a safe gap in oncoming traffic and no pedestrians or obstacles in the crosswalk or driveway that you're turning into. Make sure you practice using the center turn lane before your DMV test so that you can earn your license and be a safe driver for decades to come. 
All right, all you delightful DMV data devourers, as our knowledge road trip comes to a close, I hope you found this journey both enlightening and dare I say, mildly entertaining. Remember the road to success in your driving endeavors involves a perfect blend of understanding the rules of the road and applying them with precision. Whether you're gearing up for the written permit test or preparing for the in-car license exam, from Permit Quiz Liz and everyone here at Drivers at Direct, stay curious, stay sharp, and most importantly, please stay safe out there.